Alright, the KTM Duke 125 versus the Honda Grom 125. Now, this isn't a race, so if you came to see them race, this ain't a video, alright? This is basically the 0 6 I did on both of the bikes, put against each other, and seen, you know, who does the fastest, the 30, the fastest, the 40, and where it kind of starts to pick up, who and who wins, basically, who has the fastest 0-60. Round 1, fight! <laughs> The Honda Grom is actually at 30, now it's very difficult to see the KTM's dash for some reason, but the Honda Grom is already at 30. The KTM, after doing a little bit of searching, I did find its speed, and it was at 27. So the Honda Grom is actually faster to 30 than the KTM. When you ride the Grom, you can tell it is very nippy up to 30, like, it feels like it has more torque than the KTM. Anyway, let's carry on. So, the Honda Grom is at 40. The KTM is at 39, but this is where you'll start noticing a difference. This is where the Grom will start to slow down quite a bit. It takes a while to get past 40, where the KTM will keep climbing at this point, okay? And the KTM now is at 50, the Grom is at 46, and the Grom just keeps slowing down at this point. And then you go. This was my first run on the KTM, the first run on the Grom. The KTM did it in 11.04 seconds, and the Grom will hit it at 12.26. So there's a whole more than a second difference between it. Which isn't a huge deal, especially because the Grom's so small. But it makes a lot of difference in the long run. But anyway, next one. Round two. Fight! <laughs> So as you saw then, the Grom actually took longer that time. I was doing clutchless shifting on the Grom, and I was doing full throttle and then just using the clutch on the KTM. If you hadn't seen the other videos, I was wearing exactly the same video, uh, exactly the same as I was on both videos, so there'd be no difference in weight on myself. But yeah, the KTM still goes over a second quicker to 0 to 60. Finish him. <laughs> As you saw there, the KTM again went a lot, lot faster. Two seconds faster than the Grom to 0 to 60. Something to bear in mind, the KTM does have a uh, K&N oil filter and air filter, where the Grom doesn't have either of these things. So I will definitely put these in to the Grom and see if it makes any difference. I found it does make a little bit of difference on the KTM, so we'll see if it makes a difference to the Grom. But if you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. I don't normally do videos like this. I normally do vloggy type videos on, the, on my bikes, but... If you did enjoy, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more. I make videos normally twice a week. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next one. Peace.